What up, what up, what is up, my people? It is Monday, so you already know what I'm coming with today. It is at Hot 5 and Odd 5 of the week. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Derek, my man. known as the Fundamentals of Side Hustle on YouTube. I am a full-time reseller. What that is, is I like to go out to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, retail stores like Marshalls, Ross, um, TJ Maxx, any of those stores you already go to. But I go with a purpose. Not just to spend money, I go to make money. So I'll buy it on a low and flip it on a high. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stranger danger! Watching. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, please. Even if, even if you don't like it, hit the thumbs up. I'll take that live for today. And go ahead and hit that bell if you want to be reminded when I drop that new hot fire, that new video. So my hot five and hot five, what I essentially go through is, I go through my top five net selling items. That's after taking all the fees and everything out. And then I also go through five to 10 items that you should be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. I'm gonna go on and take the surprise out of it. There is no variables in my top five. It is all toys. You might as well yep. call me Santa Claus because the fourth quarter is coming up and toys are my thing. So let's go on and jump into this hot five of the week, starting with number five. And as I told you, it's already toys. It's all toys, not just regular toys. These are action figures. They're all action figures from small to big. The number five item of the week is a 1991 Hasbro G.I. Joe. This is Cobra Commander. This sold for $71.11, total of $89.11 with shipping. I have $5 into this action figure. So as you will see the routine, since these are all action figures, I have no more than five to six dollars into each one of these action figures. So that will be the last time I remind you of that. Just take note of that as I'm telling you the total. My number four item of my hot five is, this is a Diamond Select Star Trek figure. This is a seven inch figure. This item sold for $89.11, $96.46 with shipping. Going to my number three, it is a 21st Century Toys it is a ultimate soldier figure. It's a waste gunner. It's kind of an army figure. Now this one in particular, the person I bought it from, he did a lot of weird things to these dolls. What? This one, his clothes didn't match. His boots are all odd. He had extra, extra toys and everything. So I lotted it all together. I was like, here, you get three extra guns with this. This sold for $60. But with shipping, it was $114. My number two on my hot five was a Star Trek Voyager set. This was the complete set of the 1995 Star Trek Voyager series. These particular items sold for $109.01. My man! $127.33 with shipping and it was nine figures in here so you're looking at I have $45 into this set and the number one thing on my hot five of the week is a set of 10 Star Trek figures it was a complete movie set this item sold for $129.01 $154.10 yes. was my total. And that's my hot five of the week. Toys continue to be hot for me. That's my thing. I love finding vintage toys. I love finding new vintage, old huh. vintage, it doesn't matter. 
Is there such thing as new vintage? Nope. No, no, that doesn't make any darn sense. What what makes things vintage? Now, in my eyes, it's ten years or older, right? It's hard for me to sit right here and say, man, I I got this 1997 doll that's vintage. Yes, yeah, vintage, but I graduated in 1997, so it makes me feel up just a little bit. He older. needs some milk. Just a little bit. So people look at me and call me vintage. Classic. I can't deal with this. Not this time. Yeah, moving on. Let's go to my odd five to ten items of the week. Now, the odd five to ten, these are items that you should definitely be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. Normally, in my odd five to ten, I don't go over any toys. I don't go over any models because I sell a lot of these items. We're just going to go over some other random things. So number one, let's see here. Number one, I sold these first alert carbon monoxide smoke alarms. They're a combination. No, carbon monoxide detectors and smoke alarms sell very, very well. So if you're able to get them on clearance or discount at, at Lowe's or, or Home Depot or any auction, go in and pick those up. They sell. Even the vintage ones sell. Probably not as safe. Remember that. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's valuable. Old smoke detectors, I'm pretty sure I don't want to be putting one of those up in my house because they're probably nope. not as safe as the newer ones. But anyhow, I sold these two as a lot. I have $6 in T20, so $12 total. These sold for $50, took a best offer. $62.27 with shipping. Ink always sells, right? Even if it's expired. Uh, this particular one, it, there was only one other listing. All the rest are sold. This was a Canon ink. It had, I think, five different inks in there, four or five different inks in there. I picked this up from one of these thrift stores I like going to. Picked it up for $7. It sold for $54.01. I only had it listed for two days. $57.79 with shipping on that. Oh. Uh, moving on down here so this pack I think you guys seen this before so this pack of uh, women's tagless briefs these are vintage pack of five, pack of six I got these for two dollars each from an estate sale I think I got like eight or nine of them I have no more left uh, this particular item sold for fourteen dollars and forty one cent free shipping so a little profit on that but they sold pretty fast Oh, so I sold these. I bought a bunch of DVD players from BidRL. Uh, these are, I got them for about $7 each. I have about, I'm looking around, I have them here on the floor. I think I have about 20 of them. Now this, once again, $7 each is what I got them for. I'm selling them for $17.01, $27.82 with shipping. Now I have a little bit built in on the shipping side. I have them listed a little heavier than they probably are, so I can gain a couple dollars back from that. It's a little trick. Uh, so $27.82 with shipping. Yep. I sold this cool. So this is pretty cool. Vintage poster sells. Those are in good condition. This is a 1980s The Who poster. I just picked these up from auction. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. This is part of a death death pile that I had. It was a bunch of posters I had over on the side. It was about 10 of them. And I finally got in a list of them and they sold. Well, that one sold in particular for $20. I have less than a dollar into each one of my posters. So $20 with shipping, $24.77. Sold another lot of DVDs. I'm not going to pop that up there, but just blowing these things out. It was a lot of 31 for $16. Media mail. So I sold this belt buckle. Now this is a local uh, city around here. I found this as a, at a thrift store. It's a Stockton, California Fire Department belt buckle. Uh, I got this for a little less than a dollar. I think it was 75 cent. I posted it and it sold, I think, the same day. Uh, $19.01, $23.88 with shipping. Belt buckles do sell if you can get them for a really good price. Scrolling on, I'll give y'all a couple more things here. Uh, 
I sold another Funko Pop, but we're not gonna go through that. Y'all know I'm out the Funko Pop game. I tried it and don't like it. Nope. Nope, not for me. So sorry. No, no, no. Oh, sold some more Beanie Babies. So I sold a set of these before. Uh, these I got for a dollar each. They're the bigger Beanie Babies. These sold for $8, took the best offer on them. So for $20.34 with shipping. Beanie Babies do sell not as fast as you would probably think. Uh, these are the larger 13 inch ones. Now I have, I've had these for almost a year now and I had quite a few of them. So will I be buying more Beanie Babies? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Probably not. Y'all saw me sell that Princess Diana one with the pimp cake. Pimp. Oh, I yeah, I had that one for almost a year as well. And that is all I'm gonna share with y'all this week on the my item man. sold. So that was my odd five to 10. It fell somewhere in between there. I don't know how many I gave these. Six or seven, eight, I, I don't know. I'm just throwing information out there. I had a lot of toys that sold last week. So there wasn't much to pick from. But I'm okay with that. That's my niche. That's my thing. Toys. I'm cool with that. Those of y'all who are new to my channel, I have a personal goal to make a thousand dollars a week net sales or after fees and everything is taken out. I like total. There's been a few weeks where I missed it. The reason why? Because I wasn't listing as much. This week has kind of been a struggle as well. I haven't, I haven't been able to list as much. I didn't start off the week like I wanted to. But going over to my Seagram 7 sales board, y'all reach out to Seagram 7. Y'all tell them, tag them. Tell them I've been representing them for a while now. And I still haven't gotten that sponsorship. Somebody got to get me some sponsorships on some Seagram 7s because I yep. rep them all the time. Let's go over to my Seagram 7 sales board. So $1,000 a week in net sales is what I aim for. Last week was a good week. It was a busy week. And yes, I hit my sales goal. I was excited about it. It slowed down towards the latter part of the week, but it was a good week. Let's turn you around. So yes, my Seagram 7 sales board, I made $1,280, sold 78 items, I averaged $16.41 per item sold. The reason why that is so low because I sold tons of Xbox game remotes. I think I sold about 40 to 50 Xbox remotes, which drove down that total. And that's okay. Still hit my goal. This is my Seagram 7 sales board. I have all my active listings, my newly posted listings for the day, my sales gross, that's before fees, my sales net after fees, and how many items I sold on a day. Huh. I don't have a daily total that I'm looking for. I'm simply looking for a weekly total. I want to be able to post at least 10 to 15 items a day. And when I don't, I try to make it up on the following day. This Excellent. is an accountability board, if you want to call it that. On Sunday, I started off with 1,161 items, posted 18 items, $376 in sales, $274 in net sales, 12 items. And as you see, we are going through the week. It was pretty consistent, right? On um, sales gross, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, and Saturday, it went down to 100. But sales net is what you want to look at. That's after you take out the cost of goods and fees, right? So 274. 138, 199, 171, 231, 172, 95. And then the item sold. Double digits every single day except Friday and Saturday. So I'm happy with this week. My plan this week is to go through these tedious boxes that kind of been sitting in my garage. I have a lot of other boxes to go through with probably more valuable items. But if I don't do these right now, they will never be done. Let me turn you around to show y'all. Oh, hell no! So I'm working on a lot no. of these Hot Wheel cars. And y'all know, if you post a Hot Wheels, they take forever. Any die-cast car takes forever. Now, some of these, you know, 10 15 $20. These things are like $15. These are like $5. So I have to figure out the best way 
to list these without having to list every single one. I'll probably lot them together. May put them up on auction, but auctions have been going horrible lately. You know, there's been no bids, so I'm nope. not even sure how I'm going to do that. But we'll figure it out. I look forward to seeing all of your videos during the week. Thank y'all for watching my channel. Hopefully you can join me and Regina on Wednesday for our reseller hump day hangout. We're going to work through our technical difficulties. I appreciate y'all still supporting us. I think we got it under control this time. We're going to knock it out. Me and Regina, we, we're going to knock it out. But I will see y'all on Wednesday, hopefully. Have a great evening and list those items.